What's good, YouTube? Hope all is well with you. This is Devalian Sense coming to you once again. First one of the new year. So, when I last left you, mid-December, talking about how this was our winter, and uh, I was thinking maybe it was going to be a short one. I was wrong. Winter just came late. Started last week of December. Rain all throughout January, all throughout February. And uh, this is March 1st, and we still got uh, March 4th, rather. We still got a little bit of rain to go coming this week, but things have finally cleared up to where I can actually shoot on location here, giving you a little bit of the scenery. And uh, this is a top five spring list for 2019. So we're getting right into it. Shan't be before you long. Coming in at number five, this is our Haramain's LaVenture. Again, to me, this is the best Creed Aventus clone out there. Now, I will make a distinction because I've had some recent compliments and some recent criticisms of this while wearing it. And that is, I'm gonna say this is probably gonna lean toward a mature audience. Uh, mature ladies love this on me. Women my age, I'm 37, love this on me. Maybe a little bit younger, love this on me. Older, love this on me. Younger women in their 20s, said I smell like an old man. So take it for what it's worth. Maybe a uh, pineapple vintage intense is gonna be the best thing for the younger guys. Uh, but this is, for me, this works. And uh, I'm thinking I still might get pineapple vintage. I like the original um, more than anything else. Uh, and a couple other uh, flankers that have come out. But as far as Creed Event is clones, LaVenture by Al Haramine works for me. So that's number five get you in the picture here Woo. all right coming in at number four we have the infamous Abercrombie yeah Abercrombie no Abercrombie and Fitch first instinct so this is my it was hyped overhyped extremely hyped for so long and I didn't want to wear it because I was pretty sure everybody else was wearing it and now that the hype has died down now I'm gonna start wearing it I usually have one fragrance in almost every list that fits that category. Everybody was wearing it when it was hot, when it was popular, and I tend to wait until the popularity dies down to start wearing it because I don't want to wear it when everybody else is wearing it. But when the popularity dies down and everybody's moved on, that's when I go in reverse on some things. But again, Abercrombie first instinct abercrombie and fitch i'm sorry i'm messing up here first instinct yes it's full but i always sample everything before i buy it so i had sampled this years ago so this is nothing new to the fragrance community but like i said you might want to try that going back and trying out something or starting to rock something starting to wear something that everybody's kind of forgotten about all right so that number four abercrombie and fitch first instinct i got it right for once <laughs> uh, the next two are going to be two Swiss Army Knives, in my opinion. One is what I put on the fall list, and I've said before, to me, fall and spring are very interchangeable. So this is my oil version of Tom Ford's Oud Wood. Of course, nothing beats the actual Tom Ford Oud Wood, but for the uh, oil store that I have out here, not that I have, that I own, but that I go to out here in San Diego, uh, man, this one has been great. This one has been great for the fall. You see, you don't need that much oil, but you can see how much I have used when it was filled all the way to the tip. Um, this has been great for me. I have not received a bad uh, negative reaction off of this. And for good reason. I mean, Tom Ford knows what he's doing. And this oil rendition, oil version of it, uh, definitely suffices for me, especially with, um, especially with Molecule 01. Molecule 01 and definitely Abercrombie and Fish because it's so light. Definitely going to be using Molecule 01 on both of these with both of these. Uh, but again, the oil version of Oud Wood, if you have a local fragrance store and they have a version of Oud Wood, go ahead and try it out and see if it works for you. But that's coming in at number three. Number two is another Swiss Army knife, but it's new to the collection. This is Bulgari Man Black Cologne. Now, Bulgari likes to play with their words and their versions and their flankers. So 
things can get kind of confusing. They do have a Bulgari man in black. That's not this one. This is Bulgari man black cologne. This one is your, for what I want to say, lack of better terms, your barbershop fragrance. To me, this has a barbershop feel with a hint of sweetness. Um, if you want a full review, I'll get into that. If it's requested, I'll get into a full review or I might just do it just because I want to. But this one, to me, is a, is a very great Swiss Army knife. You can dress up with this one. You can dress down with this one. It could be daytime. It could be nighttime. To me, this works. Like I said, barbershop fragrance with a hint of sweetness. Definitely woody on the dry down. I have it on right now. Yeah, so this one, this one is going to work in a lot of different situations for me. So coming in at number two, this is Bulgari Man Black Cologne. And coming in at number one is a sample only because every time I tried to buy it, it was sold out. Not many fragrances, in my opinion, live up to the hype, but this one did. And so, of course, I had to get... A sample and I got it from the fragrance decant boutique very nice presentation in my book you take off oh, let me get this in the camera you take off the little padding here and it's in a plastic ah, plastic container here and you have to take it out now of course I've already sampled this this is my first time trying it the first time that I did spray it when I took it out of the package originally but I just wanted to show you how nicely this was uh, packaged here and it is get that up there a Zorro wanted by night EDP let me get that in the sunlight there let's go back in reverse Ooh, a Zorro wanted by night EDP from the fragrance decant boutique my other online discount fragrance uh, fragrance net Max Aroma, both sold out. Every time I tried to reach for this one, tried to buy it, was ready to buy it, was sold out, so I had to get a sample. And this one definitely does live up to the hype. I am not saying that this is a clone by any means, hear me, but it does remind me and is a very nice rendition of uh, YSL's La Nuit de Lome in that ballpark, if you will. If it, if it was, if it, I don't know, that, it's probably going to sound degrading, but I don't I don't think it's degrading. If YSL had a little brother, it would be this one right here. If uh, La Nuit de Lome had a little brother, it would be this one. To me, it's in the same ballpark. It definitely has that same feel, in my opinion. Uh, I believe there's cardamom in there. And even though if the notes are kind of like what it says on Fragrantica.com, I say something different. But this one is, this one is special for the nights. I don't think uh, wearing this during the day is a big... Well, it's not a big deal, but this is especially when I'm getting dressed up and it's going going out for the night and something in that room. This one is going to be my go to and uh, maybe a little bit of molecule one. Maybe not. I don't think it would necessarily need it. Maybe if I did four sprays instead of just two, then it probably wouldn't need molecule one. Or maybe I use molecule one to stretch this out since uh, this is all I have, because like I said, it's always sold out. But uh, man, this is this is amazing. I really do like this one. So that's my top five list for spring 2019 men's fragrances. Hope this helps somebody. Again, this is the Valiant Sense. Believe until you stop breathing. Always, never stop believing. Whether that's yourself, whether that's believing in God. Yes, I'm putting that in there. <laughs> Don't stop believing. Keep fighting. Until you stop breathing because you might have to just do that to get what you want i'll see you next time